Hello YouTuber Reservoir Warrior here with a um, video I've been wanting to do for a while and that's my hockey hockey card collection and this is not all the cards I have um, there are Lightning Sharks cards that are going to be missing from this video but they're the ones you guys saw I think in my most, in my most recent mail day video I think there's a Stamkos card, uh, actually I think the Stamkos card might be in that giant stack you see right there. And then I have a bunch of cards ready to be graded. Uh, within the next week or so, I should have a big mail day video of uh, cards I got from massive fire sales and Facebook groups. Well one wasn't so massive, well one was massive, when I got a couple, uh, yeah, a couple really nice cards. Got a Goldobin autograph card that was eluding me for so long. Thought I missed my chance the, uh, from the first fire sale, but um, yeah, it turns out I didn't, and got it for cheaper. I got it for a lot cheaper than it was the first time, like more than 50% off from the first fire sale, which is awesome. It was an exquisite gold, I think it was only numbered to 25, so it's a really hard card to pull. I remember the first fire sale, it was going for 30, I didn't buy it, I didn't give an offer. And then the second time, and then the second fire sale, it was for ten. I'm like, let me get that. Like, forget about it. I'm like, that's such a good deal. And I'm a big Melker Carlson fan, so of course I named my edits page after him, and I thought it'd be pretty funny to call it Milkman's Delivery. And I just wanted something cool to put on my hockey binder since this is an old school three ring binder. So I will leave a link to my edits page in the description below. I definitely need to make uh, edits more frequently now. And now that I finally got my Note 4 again, should be able to do that. Videos might be better quality too. This is going to be a long video, I'm warning you in advance, so get a drink and food ready and enjoy. And I'll just throw the back to you because I think this Nabokov edit is probably my best one. Uh, you guys can see almost all my work on the Milkman's delivery page. I think I have to make a new logo again, but... That's okay. I put logos on my edits, that way nobody steals them, but on my personal Facebook, I do have all my edits. I'll probably... You know what, honestly, I shouldn't care if people take my edits. <laughs> so I probably won't even just have a logo on it anymore, I'll just post the edits as is. And whatnot. If anything, maybe just put a text with, with the page's name on it or something, I don't know. You know, I'll probably end up doing that. That way it takes up less space, too. We'll see. That's what I used to do. Anyway, first off is my... Yeah, let me move these so the binder doesn't hit it. Dang it, I thought I had this prepared well. <laughs> I guess not. So first up is my canvas collection. As you guys know, I am foolishly trying to complete the 1516 Upper Deck Series canvas cards. It's going to take a long time. I don't think I'll ever be able to finish it, unless the Connor McDavid Young Gun, or um, nah, unless the Connor McDavid Young Gun canvas goes down a lot. Plus, I have to get the uh, auto or the uh, canvas signatures, which are really hard to pull, and are pretty costly. Sorry if you can't read any of the names. You have Gergensens, Hiller, Ramo, Ward, Lindholm. You have Hosun, Dubinsky. Carl Lentinen, Danny DeKaiser, Scrivens. Then you have Luongo Quick, Sutter Parise. Eller and accidentally bought one in a fire sale thinking I didn't have it, but got it for 50 cents, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So, yeah. I guess I could get rid of that Lars Eller. Devontae Smith Pelly, Shea Weber. Crazy deals yesterday in the NHL. Oh my gosh. First off, Hurdle getting really nice, cheap bridge deal, which I did not expect. Uh, Seth Jones' new deal. Stamkos re-signing with Tampa Bay. Now I heard Carl's on waivers. So that means that you can easily lock up at least Kucherov and Killorn. Maybe they don't need to trade Bishop now. I still think Bishop's going to get traded, unfortunately, but that's alright. I just cannot believe that Weber Subban trade, and then... Hall is now in New Jersey for Larson. Like, what the hell happened in the NHL yesterday? <laughs> I wanted to make this video yesterday, but I couldn't because of that news. There's everybody's favorite Chris Kreider. I actually don't mind Chris Kreider. I got Wade Simmons up there. 
And then you should know everybody else on these pages. And then you have the UD checklist. The reason why there's a lot of blank spots is I'm I am doing this in set order. I have two canvas young guns. I have another uh, canvas young gun. It's actually the last card I have for now in my canvas collection. Ryan O'Reilly. Tomorrow morning's gonna be awesome though. Can't wait to see what the sharks do. Can't wait to see uh, the lightning deals as well. And just all the other crazy shenanigans that's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, expect the Devils and Hurricanes to do a lot of moves since they still need to get to. They still need to get above the floor. I think Devils are 8 million below, and I think the uh, Canes are about 6 million below. Vorchek, Mason, Thornton, Tarasenko, Stasny, OV, Holpe, Lad. Like to see him in Teal. I hope we actually reunite Jamie McGinn in Teal. That'd be cool. Brett Connolly. I guess Killorn's staying in Tampa now. Otherwise, I would have said Killorn. Maybe Brett Connolly comes to San Jose. We'll see. I don't know about a defenseman, but... Alright, from here on out, I think everything else is... Even though it's in my collection, I can still trade it. So here's some young guns. You have Vistanen... Dennis Everberg, Andrew Ags, uh, Agazing, uh, Agazing, yeah, Rob, because that's a G. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Tyler Gravak, Andy Anderhoff. I'm not even gonna bother pronouncing his name. And then we have a Racine down there. And then here are young guns from this year. This empty spot was a Fabry. I'm going to get it graded though. And I'll show the cards I'm grading last. I have to actually add some to it, so. I don't think any other of these young guns, I would say, are worth grading. Maybe, uh, Capan in here. Maybe Nick Cousins. Maybe Wheel. I don't know. And maybe these, uh, glossy, uh, maybe these gloss rookies as well I should get graded. I'm not sure, though. Maybe Mike McCarron. Thinking these two should get graded as well. Maybe the Panarin. These are all uh, updates, by the way. Not from not the marquee rookies from the sets. Then I know some of my uh, Canadians cards I already am working on trades for, like that Carey Price. I think the McCarran, Young Gun. And then these are red parallel, I guess you would call them UD portraits, came from Series 1 Blisters, which I wish I found more of at Toys R Us. Had awesome pulls with those. I'm not sure if the video actually got on YouTube or not, but, eh. I think I'm trading that Rantanen portrait. I know that Carey Price I traded already. We're just finalizing the details on that trade. And then here's some older canvas cards. There are also canvas cards in this giant pile to my left that I have to add in here. This is from last year's set. Did buy a lot of blasters of last year. I think, no, de definitely for the 16-17 set I'll buy a hobby box. Going to personally collect Timo Meyer for sure. I have to see what other Sharks rookies or young guns are going to be in there. And I'll like, pretty much determine who else I'm going to PC. And then save for the Lightning. I think the Lightning for now, I'm just going to stick with Killorn, Kucherov, and uh, Cuckoo. I think that's enough. <laughs> Sharks, uh, Carlson, Donskoy, Mueller. I'd like to do Marlowe, Vlaski, and Kuchur, but that might be tough. I mean, you don't want to have too many. This Huber don't... Definitely going to get graded. I would get these quad diamonds graded if they were in a little better shape. Same with that Luster Stars Phil Kessel, which actually came from my first ever hobby box I ever opened, which I did have a video for, and then I lost it. And now I finally found it again, so it's going to be an older uh, unboxing video I'm going to upload. Expect that <coughs> either late this week or early next week, as well as an old White Schwartz unboxing of mine. Oh, it sounds like I'm saying white shorts. People are like, what's white shorts? I'm like, no, 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 Weiss. 
Weiss Schwartz. It's German for black and white. Pretty much. I want to get rid of this auto so badly. It made me so sad I pulled that as my auto. I really do not like the Flames. Uh, Calamari over there. I need to get graded. I know it's Camilleri. I say Calamari. Deal with it. <laughs> then we have my other tracks. Uh, I think this might be traded. Not sure, though. Probably going to keep the Toffoli uh, patch. Or UD game jersey. Then more rainbows. This is from uh, my Platinum box. I think this Delarose is traded as well. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that McDavid. It's like the cheap McDavid. The the, the poor man's McDavid of the <laughs> hockey card world. <laughs> I don't know why I have that Lidstrom in there. I thought it was like... I'm like, oh wow, Prospect, this must be good. But no, it came out of, what, Pro Set Platinum, I think it was. And then you have a Dylan rookie. Some more rookies from uh, El Peachy Platinum. And then some other... Uh, Whatchamacallit Retros. Love this Masterpiece card. These are cool. And then just some like random insert cards and whatnot. And that's it for the binder. I think I have more cards I could put in here, like some other rookies and whatnot. I just gotta find them again. And now we're gonna go to the giant stack of top loader cards and other randomness. I really need you, uh, Probably make a PC section of this binder or just have a separate binder for my personal collection But I really need to get all my cards together for personal collection Personal collection cards you normally do not get graded although one of my Mueller's I'm seriously considering getting graded Only because it is a one to five and it is a beautiful autograph. That's the last card you'll see in this pile You have a Chris Kreider uh, game jersey uh, Speaking of PC cards uh, Goldobin. Oh yeah, I forgot to start to collect uh, PC and Goldobin. One that's so cheap in an auction. I was so happy about that. And then these canvases should be um, in my binder. Debating if I should get this DeKaiser uh, Young Gun canvas graded. I have his regular Young Gun ready to be graded. So that should as well also be graded. But Hodgson, St. Louis... Eller and uh, Barkov. Another PC card, Slater Cuckoo. Need to get more Cuckoo cards. I think that's my only one. Other than uh, Young Guns. Oh, wait, where's my other blueprint? I actually pulled these two blueprints out of my Full Force Blaster box. I may get a hobby box of this one day, I'm not sure. The inserts are kind of cool in it. Not a lot of sharks at all, but so would be a fun opening. Gold medallion, St. Louis. My green treasured swatches. Kreider treasured swatches. I have this awesome old uh, upper deck, uh, Artis Urbe. I'm not going to get this card graded, but it's awesome for my sharks collection. And then one of the subsets I like to collect are these uh, MVP. I think I have a couple more of these somewhere. These were in a 2012-2013 Upper Deck Series 1. I think this would be a cool uh, subset for me to collect. And I also like collecting the MVP Rookie uh, script cards. Oh, actually, you'll see one when I get to my ready-to-be-graded cards. I have this Couture from Trilogy. Sadly, this was the only shark they pulled. Um, from this trilogy uh, case break I was part of. I remember the first uh, I remember the first group break I was ever part of was for Black Diamond, but this was before I knew that Black Diamond was going to be like a really higher end set. I'm like, I, th I thought it was going to be like what we usually expect of Black Diamond, but it wasn't. That made me so sad, especially since there are not a lot of sharks in that set either. I love these, uh, I love the ice cards, um, th these were in artifacts, I think it was 14, 15 artifacts, I believe you got one of these per blaster, there's a, uh, whoop, 
There's a gold dobin young gun. I think I have an do I have another young gun? Uh, no, I think this is no, actually I think this is my only gold dobin young gun. I was about to say if I had another one I'd probably get it graded. I don't like DeMello, but I do have a DeMello Young Guns, because I did buy a lot of Sharks cards from somebody. Got this cool SPX Rookies of Gross Snake. I wish he turned out better, but... Obviously, we're going to keep him in the AHL. I'm guessing Dell is going to be our backup. I don't think we're going to get one in free agency. If we do, I will be surprised. We have this nice dual jersey patch of Marlow. So that's a nice card for my Marlow uh, personal collection. Martin Jones, OPG uh, Retro. Is this an update? Oh wow, this is an update? Oh, that's cool. I, I'm assuming it's an update because it says U8. U usually means update. Here's a Melker Carlson Young Gun, which I wish was uh, signed, and I'll explain why shortly. Because I think the cards are coming up soon. Matt Tennyson Rookie, so sad that injury really slew him down. You guys remember I was so happy when I pulled this portrait of Goldobin since I was never able to pull the young gun. And then we have this uh, update of Goldobin. Jonathan Bernier. Oh wait, let me put the tennis in the side. It's uh, regular uh, rookie Donskoy from Platinum. This really awesome Justin Braun Young Gun. Debating if I should get this graded. Not sure. I may keep it as is. We'll see. Sign Marlow. This Kucherov I feel like should get graded. And I know for sure that is his autograph because I have a signed photo of Kucherov and they look pretty similar. Obviously, obviously these signatures are going to look different than... Uh, their signatures on a picture or puck since it's easier on a card and a lot easier on a picture as well but I know for sure that's Kucherov's auto and I've had lightning friends also confirm that's his auto big fan of Petrangelo so had to get this I feel like this should get graded as well and then we have a Tierney Young Gun which is signed Really awesome. Don't think I'm going to get this graded. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Then we have Goudreau. Also, um, signed. And I have a signed Mueller Young Guns as well, which is why I wish the Carlson one was signed. I remember I found a signed one on eBay, but I didn't have the money for it. And then when I finally did, it was gone. <laughs> which is always the case with me. With when I find stuff on eBay. And here's the Donskoy Young Guns uh, signed as well. It's going to be a beautiful uh, PC card. Nail Yakupov, I may get this graded, we'll see. Ooh, this is a, uh... Oh, never mind. I think it's Penny Sleeve, it just look, had a nice tight fit in there. I don't know why this isn't in the binder, but it should be. Young Guns Checklist. Same with this Sam Bennett and the Ginla. Same with that Yakupov. And then I got the New York Islanders in a uh, case break of titanium. I think it was a dual case break, actually. So, three of the cards, other than base, I was able, they, they pulled like, not like, they pulled five Islanders autos. Uh, two Sezikis, uh, one of them I have ready to be graded. Uh, D. Bened Benedetto. And Thomas Vanek. Oh, I believe is on waivers now. Pretty funny. Wait. Oh, okay, I put all my Sharks stuff there. Let's put those here. Um, update of Donskoy. I have one ready to be graded. Oh, I can put that here. Same with uh, Cuckoo. Young Guns Canvas of Goldobin. I did pick another one up in a fire sale, so... Might grade one. I feel like it would be cool to grade one. 
And I think this is my only Young Gun canvas of Donskoy. Obviously would like to get more for my personal collection. If you guys remember, I pulled that update, and this is who it was. Got this pretty quickly, too. Which I'm happy about, but I can get rid of this card. If you guys would like it. And, uh, I think this is from last year's, or no, this year's. Yeah, this is from this year's SP Game Use Hockey. This is the only shark they pulled, sadly, but... Hey, I got the only Marlow in the set, so... It's really cool. Another very, another nice uh, PC card. And if you guys remember these quests for the cup cards, those are going to go in the binder. I do have a binder for... I do have a separate binder for sharks cards. Then I have this numbered Kopi. I have to find my other... Um, Panini Limited... Blackhawks cards. I mean, they're not not anything crazy, but this is actually my first autographed card. Oh, I did put the Samkos in here. Cool. This is the first auto card I ever pulled. I wish it was in better shape, but even if it was, I still don't think I would get it graded, just because it is my first autographed card. But I was really happy when I pulled this. I know you're supposed to get two autos per box. I actually only got this one. I think it's because I pulled the Lustrous Stars Phil Kessel, and those aren't the easiest cards to pull, but this is a very nice Huberto, Rookie Gem, Quad, Diamond, Emerald Auto. Oop. From Ice, we have this Frozen Fabrics of the loyal Steven Stamkos. Just a little blue uh, patch right there. Not numbered or anything. This beautiful uh, jumbo fabrics of Joe Pavelski. And then I do have a youth movement autograph. Or, yeah. Youth movement auto. Youth movement auto of Hurdle. And I have a uh, UD Game Use jersey of Hurdle from this year. As well as a Panini Titanium rookie that looks just like my Tom Wilson uh, Titanium rookie that you guys saw in the binder. And now, finally, the. Uh, Probably my biggest personal collection, and that's Mirko Mueller. All these aren't top loaders. I definitely want to get more of these. So here's a Platinum Auto, Future Watch Auto, and I have one of these ready to be graded. These are the more uh, cheaper ones to get. There's the Mueller um, Young Guns Auto. And just if you want to compare the uh, signatures. And, I, and then I do have a signed puck by Mirko Mueller. In the game, Heroes and Prospects. In the game, Draft Prospects. Artifacts, Autofacts. This one's number 258 at 399. And then this beauty, I'm definitely going to get graded. I feel like it has to be. This is the most I've spent on a single card, by the way. Just look how beautiful it looks. I actually got this for, ironically, $41. But... I will definitely be in the to-be-graded pile. Now to finish up the video... I'm going to show you guys all the cards I have ready to be graded. Which I know is going to be very costly for me, but it's going to be so dang worth it. And I know probably not all the cards in here deserve to be graded, but I want to get them all anyway. I mean, I want to get them graded anyway. And then I put them in this. Bought this from Steel City Collectibles. Just where I normally a uh, site I normally do from like site I almost always go to for uh, case breaks. Not for SPX though, or not for the newest uh, SP. Not, not for the newest set, though, since I missed out on theirs, and then I found another one I can do. It's a random team, though, unfortunately, but that's okay. Actually, that's more fun. Anyway, uh, Blue Parallel, Shining Stars, Alex Petrangelo. Matt Murray, White Ice. If you guys remember this from my box. Jack Eichel, Rookie Update. 
Jonathan Drew in canvas. It's probably going to 9 or an 8.5, and I'm just saying that because there's a little bit on the top there. This beautiful Matt Carl auto. RNH Young Guns. I have actually seen these graded up on eBay. They go for a decent amount. A 1 of 5 Patrick Kane. I'm only getting this graded since it's a 1 of 5. There's that DeKaiser Young Gun. Uh, this Mueller is numbered 708 out of 999. Killorn Young Gun. So there's another uh, PC card getting graded. I feel like that had to though. Fraser McLaren Young Gun. And a uh, Matt Nieto Young Gun. Then we have a uh, Marquee Rookie Update Rainbow of uh, Eunice Donskoy. So this is not from Platinum. We have a Tyler Toffoli White Ice, numbered 120 of 199. And a Zuccarello White Ice, numbered 111 out of 199. Then we have a Red Prism Garrett Sparks, numbered 62 of 149. We have a gold script of Brett Hull, numbered 39 out of 100. Really awesome. Sorry about this Vassal Vesky uh, pro sign. I will just say I did pull this out of one random pack of MVP. Went to Target. Um, one of my instructors in my IT program always liked to open uh, sports packs as a kid, and he noticed I always went to Target, bought packs, and... Him and I would always just crack open whatever I bought, and I decided to get a blaster of MVP, and then we'll, I picked out one random pack from the retail box, and I let him open that retail box, and we pulled, and we saw we pulled that Vasilevsky, and we were like hugging each other, jumping up and down, and cheering, and everyone's like, "You guys finally pulled an auto." We're like, "Yep." And that, he actually tried out for the Lightning, and was uh, pretty good, but unfortunately, I think he had an ACL injury, and that cut his. NHL hopes. I'm, I mean, that got. I mean, that killed his NHL hopes. But now he's a whiz with computers. <laughs> Remember when I was talking about those uh, MVP rookie uh, script cards? Yep. Here's what I'm talking about. One of my favorite cards too. And these are. In th I know these are in uh, upper deck sets. Then we have a uh, canvas of Wayne Gretzky. I remember I pulled this from a blaster and was very happy. I always made sure that card stayed in the sleeve, stayed in top loader. I think it may have a little corner damage, though, so I think the best this card will get us a 9 or 9.5, which is still okay. Uh, Cuckoo Young Gun. Um, Panini Contenders, uh, Rookie Ticket of Killorn. So, yeah, some of the cards you saw from when I bought a bunch of Lightning and... Sharks cards are in these ready to be graded uh, card holders. Silver skates of Mario Lemieux, even though it's gold. <laughs> Just like the Gretzky, this is one I always made sure was kept in as best shape as possible. Or kept in great as, yeah, you, you know what I mean. I'm actually surprised this fit in this, but I got it, no problem. No extra, no damage to the card or anything. JT Brown, who did get a new contract. Another Killorn. It's Future Watch. Hickey Private Signings. I do want to collect more Private Signings. I absolutely love the Private Signings cards. They just look so nice. And there's the Cizikis. And then we have a bunch of blue cubes that I got from a fire sale for cheap. The six blue cube blue cubes you're about to see. I got them all for $13, and that's with shipping. So, uh, Joe Thornton, 75 of 75. Finally have a beautiful Martin Jones card. This is numbered 11 of 75, my lucky number. Drew Doughty, numbered 48 of 75. These are all numbered to 75. Bobby Ryan, 42 to 75. And the AC finally decided to shut off. <laughs> Patrick Hornquist. 32 of 75. And Nick Foligno, I mean Nick Foligno. 
I used to pronounce it Feligno. <laughs> 19 out of 75. And here's a, a Donskoy rookie update. Oh, I guess I did have one of these ready to be graded. There's the uh, Fabry Young Guns. I've seen one of these also on eBay, which is why I decided to get mine graded. This beautiful Matt Nieto, a uh, rookie patch auto, numbered 122 to 249. My man, Owen Nolan. Love my Nolan jersey. That's not numbered or anything. Same with this Authentic Fabrics. I am actually getting a Niami Quick uh, patch from this same set, so maybe I'll get that graded as well. Chichu, miss him. Marlowe Game Use Jersey, that's going to be a nice PC um, graded card. Bobby Hull, uh, 31 of 50. And then to round it off, and to finish off the video, Darren Pang private signings this one isn't numbered or anything but that tends to be the case with private signings you'll see um buck hearts from her website i believe it's uh c-o-m-c c-o-m-c a uh, pretty cool site to buy hockey cards from actually a friend told me about it he's like did you ever buy from that site before i'm like no i'm like i'll check it out i'm like wow this site's awesome i actually bought a graded card from uh, that website. I'm not going to spoil who it is, but that is going to be my first graded card. Graded card. It is 9.5. I got it for a mere twenty dollars, which I think is a really good deal. And eventually, when that comes in the mail, you guys will see a video. But I'm so excited for that. Finally, get to have a graded card of some sorts in my hand. I always like to get one for Pokemon, maybe Yu-Gi-Oh as well. But there is nothing in either of those card games that I can get graded that would get a good score. A lot of my old cards are in bad shape and whatnot, but... I mean, yeah, I sleeved them up as a kid, but... Still, over time, you just... You know... Stuff happens. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I apologize again that this video was long, but... Just be glad it wasn't my entire collection, because then we'd be here for like an hour or two. No, e easily like two, three hours. And I hope to get this up, um... Probably actually upload this video while I'm at work because I have to wash up quickly, head on over to work, and with my phone I have to have Wi-Fi in order to upload. But of course I have Wi-Fi in my job. It's my dad's donut shop. Of course I do. <laughs> anyway, so uh, let me know in the comment section below which one of uh, these cards are your favorite. And I think there is a... I forget what set is coming out very soon. That's not a lot of money. But I think it's another newer set. It's not Playbook. I think it's something book. I forget what it is. But whenever that set comes out, 